guys, hope you're well. Today um, I'm going to do a pin mail video. Now I have so much pin mail that I've decided I'm going to split it into two videos. So in today's video I've got UK pin mail. So this is all pin mail that's been sent to me from people in the UK. So let's get cracking. First one, I think it's from the Disney store because I ordered a new limited edition release that came out like two weeks ago. So I have this Toy Story 3 pin. I don't actually know the characters from Toy Story 3, but um, I'm using it as a trader anyway. So if anyone likes this pin, you can have it. It's limited edition 500, so make me some trades. Another pin I got from the UK is from a guy called... David Turner and he sent me this really cute Hades character because I obviously collect Hades characters so that's really cool. I've been looking for that one for ages. I had a Jafar one for a while and now I've got Hades. Um, this one just seems to be a pin so I'm just going to cut right into it. Jasmine with Raja. I actually did have this pin, but I traded it out, and then someone else has traded me this for another pin of mine, so I have it back. Yay! I believe it's very hard to find for an open edition pin, so it's going to be quite popular in trading circles. Okay, this next one comes from Anya in County Derry, and I like the envelope. She's got some sort of Disney wrap there. Which is kind of cool. So let's cut into this. I always check for notes because sometimes people stick notes in their envelopes or unwrap it. And this is a release I missed out on on the Disney Star. It's the Pocahontas 20th anniversary because it's been like 20 years since the movie came out. And it's a really pretty pin, it's really nice. I don't collect Pocahontas, but it'll go in my traders. Um, I really like Percy and Miko on there. I think they're really cute. So, yeah. Just reflect it so you can see it in all angles. But really nice pin. Thank you very much, Anya. This one I can't remember if it was a trade or a buy. Let's have a look. I bought this one on eBay and it is Phil! I don't have very many Phil pins in my collection for Hercules, I'll be honest. I think I've got like one. I'm just looking at my board, it's down here. Yeah, I have just one Phil pin and I saw this on eBay and it was like £2.50. So I was like, cool. And it's supposed to be limited edition, I'm just going to check that now. And get the back off. Oh my god. Um, what's it say? It says limited edition of 5,000. So it's quite a high LE, but it's really nice. See the focus, yep. And the back's really pretty and glittery. And another pin parcel. Kirsty, thank you for the trade. Hope you like your new pins. Let me know when you get this. All the best, Sarah. Okay, so this was a Facebook trade and I can't remember what I traded for, but in return I got sent some really cool pins. Um, so the first pin I can show you is um, it's not my first, it's like my second, but this will be my first um, Paris pin trading and it's Prince Charming from Cinderella, so that's kind of cool. And um, I saw him and I was like, can I have him in trade? Um, I wish I remember what I traded now. Oh well. And then I also got these 
which one of them is, again, it's Hercules and it's an Olympic pin, USA. And then the other one is the Disneyland castle, is Mickey and Walt statue. I'm actually going to diversify and because I've got a castle collection, but because there's like such a big thing with the castles, because there's so many of them, I'm going to diversify and I'm only going to collect castles with Mickey um, in any shape or form. So this one I'm going to keep though because it's a really nice pin. Um, but there are some of my castle pins which are now going to go up in trade soon as well on Instagram and Facebook. And another one. So many UK threads, it's unreal. Okay, this is really fun. This is from a girl on Instagram called The Punzy Pin Hunt, and she sent me a Olaf Trump card. I have some fizzing candy, I've got a red crayon, red crayon, and a yellow crayon pencil thing. And of course I've got a pin with it, and I'm just going to show you this pin now, it's all wrapped up in here. How do I get in? Where's my pin? Oh, sorry, that's my phone if you can hear that. Um, and it's a, another Hades pin, and it's a really cool one because it's from the Disney Cruise Line. And I've never been on a Disney cruise line, and I probably never will. But they make pins specifically, and this is one of them. And it's limited edition, a thousand. And I just really like it because it's Hades with like a life-saving thing, and he's got his binoculars, <laughs> and it's just really cool. So yeah, yay for Hades! Okay, let's dig in and see. Yay! Facebook buy, another Facebook buy. Um, this one is for trade. It's why I usually buy on eBay is to for um, to find new traders. And this one is going to be really cool because it's Aurora with Prince Philip dancing in her pink dress. So that's really nice. And it's an old UK pin, so hopefully that'll be a really good trader for me. This one comes from a friend of mine who I met at a UK pin trading event recently called Rose. So thank you, Rose. And I think it's a trade. In fact, I know it's probably a trade. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of pins here. Um, I've got an Alice in Wonderland pin and a Cinderella pin. And again, I don't collect these, but I'm going to trade them, I think. I really like the Alice one. That's really pretty for a 50th anniversary pin. And the Cinderella one's pretty cool. It says, first day of spring 2003. So that's really quite like an old pin. And this one, it doesn't say where it's from. But I think I have an idea. It says thanks for the trade Ashley. On the UK Disney pin trading community there's been a trader called Ashley Sweet and lots of people were having problems getting pins from him and he was like being really delayed and reckoned that we were never going to get our pins so he got banned from the group and then he suddenly decided to start sending his pins out. So I traded a Peter Pan um, hidden Mickey for this hidden Mickey, which is Hades with Pain and Panic. Um, I'm just wondering about its authenticity, so I'm just checking it now. Um, the edges, they feel sort of okay. I'm not too sure on the colouring of the pin, to be honest. I'm not sure if this is how this pin's meant to look in colour-wise. If you can see, if you've got this pin, let me know if you've got a genuine one and if I've got a genuine one. Um, there are the two pin nubs on the back, which is usually a good indicator. I'm just looking at the spelling on the pin, and that all seems to be in order. So, I just don't know. I'm 
pretty sure it's real. And like, literally, the last two days, everyone's been like, oh, all of a sudden the pins have come from Ashley. So, yeah. Um, you have to be careful when pin trading because some people are out to screw you over. I generally don't want to think he was, but I think he could have been more honest with people about when he was really going to send his pins out. Um, this one here, I've got two which look like they've come from the same person. So I'm just trying to think what this could be. Day pin that I've been needing for a while. It's Merida with her bear mother and her bear brothers. So that's cool. That's going to go straight on my Merida board. So cute. And it's from the Disney Soda Fountain and it's limited edition 300. So I'm quite happy to get this pin. <laughs> from the same person. Let's have a look. from this person for these ones as well and what I got was I got Rapunzel with the floating lanterns because I'm always in need of traders so that one's really cool and I also got this one which hasn't even been opened I don't think and it's them in the gondola but it's not the UK one that came out on the UK star site it's the Paris one so it's really nice it's quite colourful actually and I quite like that, but almost makes me want to connect Rapunzel. So that was all my um, UK pin trades, guys, and pin buys. Um, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want to. And keep watching because I've got a US pin mail video coming up now. So bye, guys.